Two years ago, I started Zoo Strikers, an online multiplayer 3D platformer slash shooter game, taking 3D platformer controls from games like the 3D Marios and mixing it with multiplayer shooters like Halo. Players are able to roll, jump, hover, wall jump, and of course, shoot in large open maps where 16 players can face off against each other, either in teams or in free-for-alls. With game modes like Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, King of the Hill, etc. and game modes that are platforming specific because the platforming is half the fun. Players get to be these little animals playing in these games for money that they can then spend on clothing and more guns. Where do they buy these things? In the large player hub where they'll interact with a myriad of funny and weird NPCs of course with visuals similar to Wind Waker, online matchmaking systems like CSGO and dialogue hopefully similar to some of my favorite games like Lisa, Zoo Strikers strives to tap into that amazing weirdness that GameCube era Nintendo games just ooze. And that's the game. You dig it? To be honest, it didn't start out as this. Originally, it was about cooking with Gordon Ramsay, and for some reason he's naked here. You'll just have to trust me, it sounded good on paper. Anyways, I'm Mick Mick, I'm a 3D artist and game developer. I've actually been working on a lot more other projects over the past year, while Zoo Strikers slowly develops, you know, in the background. Now, Zoo Strikers has a programmer, Derek, who is super experienced in Unity and multiplayer programming, and very recently, Alex Aceto, an amazing character designer, has come on to help design the characters of Zoo Strikers. Basically, development is really ramping up and it's about time to push the game into its beta testing stage. Hey. In this devlog, muzzle flashes, explosions, and VFX galore. A game needs great effects to help give that juicy game feel. After that, turning this NPC design into a 3D model. This character, designed by Alex, is a tourist wandering around the player hub. Once modeled and textured, it'll have to be brought into Unity and have a cell shaded material made for it. Time to begin developing. First up, the VFX. Yeah. So here, I've created some concept art of the muzzle flash. You might be wondering why this is a bit like pixely, a little pixel art kind of. And that's because all the game modes are actually sports within the game, like a high-tech virtual paintball. You see, the world of Zoo Strikers takes place something like, uh, like 20 years in the future from now. Except in this world, all the people are kind of like animal people, you know, kind of cool. And the biggest sport on the planet is now these virtual gun games. So all the guns, items, and objectives are virtually spawned in and not actually there. Now, we gotta take this and make it in the actual game. We are now in game, and these effects are looking really nice. I've got the VFX for the items right here, the fire for the peppers, which act similar to Molotovs in CSGO. Here's a big Dragon Ball looking effect. This is for the lime which will give the player a speed boost like the fire flower things in Mario Odyssey. The spring here makes the player jump really high, and I've reused the muzzle flash for the rocket launcher as you can see. So far, these are looking really good, but I also think they're missing something. I'm gonna have to think a little bit more on how these can have kind of like a uniqueness or something going on. While he thinks on that, it's time to begin modeling this NPC model.
As you can see here, this character is a tourist that will be found in the player hub, where not only you'll see a ton of NPCs like this guy that will give you helpful tips and challenges, but you'll also see all of your friends playing the game and other players. What will this NPC do when you talk to him? I don't know. He looks like he'd take your picture or something. We'll have to figure that out later. Almost done. He just needs to be rigged and animated, and we'll put him into Unity. In the meantime, it seems Brody has figured out what the VFX needed to be finished. Check this out. So this was the old muzzle flash, right? And here is the new one. All right, now here's the old fire and new. I'm really liking this. It's like the game inside the game is really being 3D projected in VR. Hopefully, the player will instantly realize what's going on. These were actually in the concept art, but it was part of a scrapped idea where all of the effects were like 3D like this, which I didn't like overall. But after watching some gameplay of Astro's Playroom, I saw this and I was like, yeah. And I realized I could use it like this where the 3D pixels are only being used as a kind of like fade out effect when the virtual things are disintegrating. Well, I'd call these done for now. And since we're in Unity, I can show you this. Boom. I put the tourist in and he's looking sexy. The cell shader looks all right. If you want to make a cell shader like what I use, there will be a link in the description to a really great tutorial. I just got one problem with them. The shading tint I've chosen looks really good on most of him, but it's a little weird on the backpack. So I've got a few choices. Either I'm going to have to make a whole new material just for his backpack, and the thing with that is these cell shader materials really add up. I want to use as little as possible. So the other solution would be taking the backpack texture and throwing it on to another character's textures where that character's shading looks good with the backpack. Well, we got done what we wanted to do, and before we go, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the game in general. It's a perfect future. The world is thriving, but it's not too futuristic like flying cars. It's just a little bit more advanced than our world. Right now, the idea for the story is that all the players are hired on as janitors for this park, where the sports games just so happen to take place. But of course, everyone's playing the games and not doing their jobs. This park will act as a player hub, where I mentioned earlier you'd see NPCs and your friends playing the game and other players. And I think this is a good topic to continue into the next episode, because the current player hub is going to be completely remade. Here's a little tease for right now. I'm so excited to show you more of what Zoo Strikers has to offer. Like, who's that guy? What the heck is Bearfelf? What's going on here? Stay tuned to see all your questions answered. And if you have any good ideas for game modes you want to see in Zoo Strikers, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.